Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Cole Fresh, and today we are opening up a uh, plastic box. Uh, this is the hunt for the Golden Idol, Idol Indie. Um, I believe this box was... Let's see here. Thirty-five, guaranteed value, I think. And then also we have one of the GameStop mystery boxes from 2015. The reason why I picked this up is because one, it was sealed. Two, um, there's a super rare chance of getting a gold Batgirl, which is worth about $175, and I paid 30 bucks for the box. I'm a little concerned because there's a couple of uh, like. There's a couple of action figures as well in here that are supposed to be sealed, and as you can tell, it doesn't sound good. So I'll go into the GameStop box first. Oh. Yeah. Like I said, it's not good. So. From Breaking Bad you can see, the whole thing just fell apart. Gus Fring. <laughs> it literally says on there, adult collectible, not a toy. <laughs> Alright. And then, uh, Jack Burton. From Big Trouble in Little China. So yeah, the all the packaging came off, so that's a huge bummer. Uh, so, I'll just be doing something with those, I guess. I don't know what, though. I know, I can see what pops in here, but I'm not saying. Um, kind of a cool uh, pocket pop, though. Metallic Iron Man. Yeah. And then an actual pin. This is Pop Marvel on it. It's Mr. Deadpool. Cool pin. Cool pin. Somebody's got an Uzi in here. I don't know who it's supposed to be. Pew pew! So yeah, I'm pretty bummed that these just broke open in the box. It is what it is though. We'll put everything back in the box here. holding my excitement in. Can you tell? Alright, so... What excitement, you mean? <laughs> uh, it's just the regular claptrap. Each one of the pops in this box had a gold variant, so a chase variant, I guess, but it was 2015. Uh. But yeah, Claptrap, um, still looks pretty good for everything else rattling around in there. You know, a little bit of a nick up here on the corner, right there. But, yeah, I think he's only, I looked at all the pops before I even bought this thing, because I was like, eh, is it worth it? Um, so he's like eight bucks. That's okay. Well, so let's get down to the coup de grace here. Do, 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 do. All right, three pops, spastic collectibles, one box, chase for indie. Now see, I think it would be great if Curtis, when he did this, in the indie box, he put like uh, two different pops that were snakes, just like like a Nagini from uh, Crimes of Grindelwald or something like that, just, just 
yeah. So, um, so I don't cut myself, I'm going to look, but I'm really not looking at the pops. I don't know what we're getting. Okay. First pop up. Hot Topic Girl with blue hair. 2018 pop. That's, I mean, it's a cool pop. It's got all the tattoos. I don't know if you guys can see those. But yeah, cool pop. <sighs> we all know that I I went way overboard with ECCC. So, let me know if you guys are interested. I have a couple of them. I also have a couple of the con sticker too, so just let me know. And I'm kind of excited to see what this is. So we'll, we're going to take it out of the protector here. I don't like this protector. Yeah, it already broke. It already broke. Pinoy in the Proud. What is Jollibee? Hobby stock exclusive. Jollibee glow in the dark. And Philippine Barong. Alright, well. Hmm. For some reason, I don't think that's the right value that I gave you guys on the box. Um. Yeah, I want to say it was 35 guaranteed value, or it could have been 45, but either way, I think we killed it, because Slime Pit He-Man is, I think, 22. Yeah, $21. So, and then Hot Topic Girl with the blue hair. She comes in at a staggering $5. So 26 there. Um, Jolly B, and we'll just type in 51. So 26 total. We got the, that one's not the one, that one's 29. We got the glow in the dark, whoa. 36 dollars for glow in the dark Jollibee. So, 62 dollars in value? Could have been a 50 dollar box? I'm gonna go with 50. But, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks Curtis, uh, it's a great box, man. Um, and then the last but not least, I uh, just wanted to show what the wife picked up. Uh, Miko and Flit, the box lunch, Earth Day exclusive. One of my favorite movies uh, of all time, actually. Uh, it's, it's, it goes The Lion King, Forrest Gump, and then Pocahontas. I know that's weird, but those are my top three movies. Let me know what your guys' top three movies are down below. I would uh, I would love to be re reading those today because I am uh, not working today. I'm quiet. I got a guy come on over to the house, look at the fence, and uh, I might be spending a lot more money than I really want to, uh, but it is what it is because I am not a handy person. Uh, so, anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, Juan... Our other giveaway winner still has yet to reach out to me, so we already passed 400 subs, guys. So thank you so much, everybody who's tuning in. We really appreciate it. My wife, like, was just flabbergasted when she actually saw we were above 400. She just was, what? So when we hit 450, 
Uh, especially if Wad doesn't pick up that giveaway uh, by this Sunday. Um, I'll give that away, and I'll uh, I'll look at some, giving something else away then, too. Because I had planned to give something else away at 450, so... Stay tuned, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.